Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Steph. Um, I've got some coffee here and I've got my TBR for August. I did say in my last video that I wasn't sure if I was going to do one of these. Um, I didn't really see the point in it because last month I didn't read a single one on that list. Um, but that seems to be the thing with a lot of these videos um, for TBRs is that not a lot of people follow them. Um, so I'm going to say in the title that this is going to be my what I want to read this month. But it's probably going to be what I'm not going to read this month, if I'm being honest. Um, I really want to get to some of these books. They have been on my TBR for a while or they're just new ones that I have really wanted to read. Um, so I'm going to go through, I think I have 15 books. Definitely not going to read all 15 this month. Um, hopefully I will read at least some of them. I have read one of them. Um, that has been on my TBR this month already. So we're off to a good start, uh, better than last month. There might be a couple reoccurring ones that were on here um, that I had for last month that I didn't read. Um, other than that, most of them are going to be um, my Kindle reads um, because I did get a Kindle recently. So this is the first um, TBR video that I'm doing with my Kindle um, and I'm so excited. I uh, definitely have the majority of them that I want to read on my Kindle and if I love them, I want to order them on paperback. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video and let's talk about the books that most likely I will not read this month but I want to, if that makes sense. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Okay, so I thought I would first go through all of the books that I want um, to read that I own on physical copy so far. Um, a few of these may be reoccurring from last month, um, but let's get right into it. I want to read this book, which actually matches my top, um, How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. Um, I talked about how I really wanted to read this one. Um, I hauled it recently. Don't know when I'll get to it. Honestly, it's not that high up on my TBR this month, but I would really like to read something by this author. Um, it seems like such a cute book, super cute cover. Definitely want to hopefully read that one this month. A book that I want to read that me and my sister want to read together. Um, so hopefully this one will be one that I read this month. Um, and that is The Way I Used to Be um, by Amber Smith. This is a very um, triggering book. I have heard very emotional. Um, I don't like reading too many emotional books back to back because I find it puts me in a slump. Um, no matter how good they are, it's just the you know, the emotions you go through reading um, a book like this. Um, but I definitely want to get to this one. Um, this one I definitely think was in my last month's TBR and that's Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. I definitely want to read this one as well. Um, I think I talked about it in my last video, what it's about. Basically these two people have a one night stand. Um, they meet each other on an airplane. They absolutely hate each other. Sorry if you heard my Apple watch go off. Um, yeah, they meet each other on a plane, they absolutely hate each other, they end up having a one night stand and then he shows up in her town and now she's kind of questioning whether she has feelings for him or whether she really does hate him. Um, yeah, it sounds really interesting and it's definitely one of the books I want to read this month. I would say the ones that I have on my Kindle are ones that are higher up on the list of uh, books I want to read this month. So I'll definitely tell you which ones those are. Um, this book here I hauled recently, but it's been one that I've really wanted to read. And that is Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker. I've heard quite a few things about K.A. Tucker and I'm hoping that this book will be the first one that I read by this author. And I have another one on paperback and I could download the rest of them on my Kindle. Um, but I really want to read something by K.A. Tucker this month and I'm hoping it will be this one. Now I'm going to talk about the ones that are on my Kindle. Um, one that I want to read this month from Kindle is uh, Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. Um, last month I read Twisted Love, Twisted Games, and Twisted Hate. Um, so Twisted Lies is one that's on my TBR for this month. 
I am cheating a little bit because I have already read it but I'm not going to say my thoughts in this video that will be in my wrap up for August um, but that one was at the beginning of the month on my list and I was going to make this video sooner um, before I had read it but I wasn't too sure whether I was going to make one or not like I said because I didn't read very many last month um, but that one is on my list uh, another one that's on my Kindle that I want to read is Dating Dr. Dill by Misha Sharma and I've been really wanting to read that one. I've heard lots of good things about it, that it's definitely um, really funny but also quite smutty as well. Um, sounds right up my alley and I, I definitely want to check that one out. Um, I am going to start that one next. Um, me and my sister are reading that one together. Um, so. Hopefully, if I read it and I really like it, that I will finish that one. Um, I want to read another Colleen Hoover this month because I haven't read Colleen Hoover since... I didn't read any last month. I'm not sure if I read any the month before. Um, but I said I wanted to read All Your Perfects last month. I know I put that in my TBR and I didn't get to it. It was a sad book and I was reading the Twisted series and I was really liking it and I just didn't want to veer away from that. Um, so I didn't pick up All Your Perfects. Um, the only other book on my shelf, actually the only other two books on my shelf by Colleen Hoover that I haven't read is Without Merit and Layla. And I think I want to save Layla for like the spooky season. Um, so I want to read Too Late by Colleen Hoover on my Kindle because I do not own it on paperback, but I will hopefully soon. Um, I have heard so many good things about Too Late recently and I didn't know anything about it. Um, I didn't know, you know, the premise of the novel, um, but I saw somebody review it recently and I can't remember who here on YouTube and they t basically explained the um, synopsis of the book and it sounded really interesting about um, this cop who goes into this um house um i think it's like a drug house he's undercover and he is supposed to be you know scoping it all out finding out you know all the information that he needs to you know make the bust uh but then he ends up falling in love with one of the girls who lives in the house and he knows she's off limits he knows he shouldn't be doing that she is into some bad stuff he really wants to get her out but he can't blow his cover that's what I've heard about it and it sounds so good I didn't realize that that was what that book was about I've heard um I've heard Colleen Hoover say that it's one of her darkest novels um that is not deterring me I'm really excited to read it the person that explained the synopsis on it said that they didn't love the book um but maybe it just wasn't there um kind of book to read but I am really excited and it sounds really good to me so I can't wait to pick that one up um that is the only Colleen Hoover I have on my TBR this month and I'm hoping I will get to that one another one I really want to read is The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams I've seen that a lot recently and it's been on my TBR for a while just sounds really good I'm pretty sure it's fake dating which is my favorite all-time favorite trope um so I definitely want to get to that one um then I have four books by Allie Hazelwood. I downloaded three of her novellas and then on August 23rd I believe Love on the Brain comes out. If you are a frequent watcher of my channel you know that I absolutely loved The Love Hypothesis and I I couldn't wait. I've been talking about uh, my anticipated reads and things for this month. Um, I mean the other half of this year and this month and uh, Love on the Brain was definitely one of the ones that I definitely want to get to. Um, I want to read more by Ali Hazelwood and then I recently found out that she has three novellas um, which I downloaded on my Kindle which are uh, Stuck With You, Below Zero, and Under One Roof. Um, I'm pretty sure these books are probably like 100-150 pages around that mark. Like I said they're novellas so they're quite short books so I'm hoping to get to a few of them this month and that will definitely uh, boost up my um, books for the year uh, by reading a few you know short books that are really quick and easy to get through. I don't know anything about those books and what they're about. I know they're romance um, and I know they're Ellie Hazelwood and I absolutely loved The Love Hypothesis so I feel like I'm gonna love these um, so definitely want to pick those up. 
I feel like I'll probably get to them before I get to Love on the Brain because that one comes out on the 23rd. I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get my hands on Love on the Brain. I didn't pre-order it. Um, I might be able to get it on my Kindle. If not, I'll definitely um, get it when it comes out and I will read it next month if not. Um, but I definitely want to get to the novellas. Um, after that on my list I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I do own this book. Um, but I don't have it with me at the moment. I did um, buy it. Um, I definitely want to read that one, but um, I've, I've heard mixed reviews about it. I've heard that it's been really good, and then other people have said not so great. I always want to uh, read it for myself and get my own opinions. I don't look at somebody's review and say, I'm not reading that is gonna suck um, because everyone has different tastes in books everyone has different point of views um, one book I might love you might hate um, vice versa so I am excited to check that one out and I read uh, a beach read by Emily Henry and I loved it so definitely want to read that one one that I have on my list is a book by Elle Kennedy and that is Misfit it's a uh, part of her new series called the prep series I believe so this is the first book just came out recently um, I'm pretty sure I was able to get it on my Kindle um, so I'm excited to check that one out and it's one of those ones that's higher up on my TBR and I think I'm really gonna like it I've seen quite a lot of like reels and stuff that she's been posting on her Instagram about the book and it just sounds so good um, right up my alley I think I'm really gonna like that book a, uh, from what I've seen online about it and I am excited that it's going to be a series I don't know how many books is going to be in that series but I want to start it and see for myself I read um, The Good Girl Complex recently by Elle Kennedy and I also read a few of the off-campus series books a couple months back so I know I really do like her writing um, and then the last book that I have on my list here is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata I'm hoping to pick this one up this month and this will be my first book my, by this author. Um, I definitely am steering away from Mariana Zapata for the longest time even though I've heard her books are so good is because they're so chunky. They're like really thick books, they're slow burn which is not totally my cup of tea but I've heard that the books are so good and I really want to check some of them out. Um, I was debating between All Roads Lead here and f with um, From Luke Off With Love, I think it's called. Um, I've heard the most about those two, so I figured I'd check out All Roads Lead here first, hopefully this month, um, and then maybe read From Luke Off With Love or The Wall of Winnipeg in me, but um, it is a big book, so it's definitely daunting, and it's lower on my list this month to read so I don't know how um quick I'll get to that but I would really like to start reading like one Mariana Zapata book a month um I'm putting that out there but don't quote me on that because who knows when I will actually start doing that I might not even pick that book up this month um but I know that I want to get to her books because I've heard so many great things about them and um I think one a month would be a good pace for me to go because they are so big and they're such a slow burn um so yeah those are all of the books that I would really like to read this month and I'm excited to check them out and I really hope that I'll at least read five books on this list out of 15 I feel like I can achieve five um I've already got one down I'm on the second one um fingers crossed that this TBR sticks this month I'm such a mood reader and uh, if people in my life are like, hey, read this book or hey, I think you'd like this one. I feel like I just drop everything else and I'll be like, okay, I'll read that. Um, especially when my sister recommends things to me. Um, we always uh, like take a detour from the list that we want to read and pick up new books as they come out. Um, I feel like everyone does that, um, but there is a big list of books that are on the shelf. I definitely haven't read all of them and there's way more up at the top as well that I really want to get to, um, things that I've hauled recently. Um, but I decided to pick things for my, from my Kindle this month. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. If you read any of these books, convince me to read them in the comment section, please, because I really need to get to some of these books this month. Sorry, this video is a little bit late. 
Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, if you would like to follow me on my other social media accounts, I am on Instagram and on TikTok, uh, both at Steph underscore reads underscore romance. Um, consider subscribing, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Give me a like, give me a comment down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you rated them. I would love to hear your thoughts. Even if you didn't like the book, um, let me know and uh, happy reading. Bye.